Hi, I'm going to do a video on your overall lip health and how Cenogens can improve it. So if you are a ch avid chapstick user or um, Carmex user or EOS user or something like that that you're always putting on your lips, most of them that I talk to are like, oh my gosh, I'm a total addict. I put it on like 20 plus times a day. Okay, first thing I want to talk to you about is when you put wax on your car or your floor, what are you doing? you are sealing out moisture okay so the idea of that is to protect your car sorry I have an itch is to protect your car or your um, floor from getting too much moisture in it so water will beat up on top of wax and that's because it's keeping moisture out so if you want moisture to get in your lips you do not want to put wax on your lips because especially think of products that when you like turn up in a tube it's, it takes a solid form Let's think about that for a minute. So even with your floors, when we put wax and wax and wax on our floors, it starts to build up and then we have to strip our floors. So I'm going to talk to you about what you can do to strip your lips and to have super soft, healthy lips and get very long wearing lip scents all day long. Okay. So some people who don't get as long of a wear are fighting with this problem and it tends to be because they're sleeping with a lip balm, a chapstick, or wearing it throughout the day um, when they don't wear their colors or sometimes even on top of their colors. So let's talk about some of the rules of why you shouldn't do that. Number one with wearing lip scents and number two just for your overall health. So lip scents products and Cenogen's products are meant to do two things. They're meant to stay on until you take them off, number one, and they are meant to improve the quality and overall health of your skin or lips, okay? So lip scents, when properly used, the wonderful thing about lip scents is that it does not have any wax in our lip color. Okay, so you don't turn up a tube, you don't have any kind of um, waxes in the tube, it's just a liquid lip color. And you're going to apply that in three thin layers. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to talk more about your nighttime and evening routine. But when you, it's really important that when you do apply your lip scents that you shake it really well because the natural botanicals settle in the bottom and it won't apply evenly if you don't have those settled, those botanicals um, evenly dispersed. Okay, so you want to shake the heck out of it, especially if it's been sitting for a while. Um, and then you apply that in three thin layers. And then you're going to seal that with your gloss. This gloss is vitamin E and shea butter. It is not wax based and it will penetrate through your lip color when you're wearing lip scents. It'll permeate that and your lip skin cells and get that vitamin E and shea butter through to the deeper layers. So this is actually hydrating your lips. It's not just sitting on the top of your lips, okay? That's a huge, huge thing. So some things that you can put on your lips that will hydrate and not um, build up if you didn't have our gloss for like to prepare for lip scents maybe or just because you care about the health of your lips and you don't have lip scents products you would use coconut oil you could use um, different kinds of hydrating natural oils you could use balms if you're careful um, you have to be really careful to check the ingredients with um, any other kind of balms that are in tubes but especially if it doesn't take a solid form and it's in a tube you've got a better chance that it's not like a cold pressed wax that's just going to sit on your lips, but you'll want to check the ingredients. Um, and anyway, so you would apply that. You would have it on your day, the gloss throughout the day. You don't have to reapply the gloss throughout the day, only if you want to. If your lips feel extra dry, you can apply the gloss again and get more moisture whenever you want, and it won't break down your color. Another thing you should be doing is drinking a lot of water. Obviously, it's good for your overall health, for your body, but especially for your skin and for your lips to get the hydration that they need. So drink lots of water throughout the day. Um, that's the internal way to kind of help your skin's cells and organs get the hydration that they need. Okay, then at the end of the day, you're going to get your, oops, remover, which I don't think that I have out at the moment. Yes, I do. Ha! You're going to get your oops remover. Sometimes I hear from customers, my lip sense isn't staying on. And then I find out that they're using their oops remover for their gloss. So make sure this is not a mistake you're using, uh, you're making. But this white and gold tube right here is the remover. So make sure what I do is I just keep that in a drawer next to my sink. I don't keep that in my purse. So someone, when they first get their starter kit, keep all three pieces in their purse. Don't do that. It just can lead to that error. So keep this by your sink, and then you'll always remember. So then at the end of the day, after wearing your lip color, you're going to go ahead and apply this liberally all over your lips. And I let that sit for about two minutes. And um, 
once it's been sitting, sorry, I dropped what I wanted to show you. Once it's been sitting for about two minutes, it's really important that you get, instead of just removing it like with a makeup remover wipe, I feel like this is the key. So you wanna get like a scratchy washcloth. I have a cabinet full of them. <coughs> I don't know if these are meant to be like dishcloths or washcloths, but they're scratchier. So they don't feel just like a soft um, towel. These are, these are scratchier. So uh, probably because they're cheap. I buy them at Walmart, okay? Then, once, once it's been sitting for like two minutes, I just kind of take my finger inside this cloth and then I remove by going like that, okay? And if all the color doesn't come off, you would apply it again and remove one more time. Then I literally take the same cloth and I just exfoliate. So it already is kind of exfoliating as I'm removing my lip color, it's removing the dead skin cells off of my face and your skin cells have to shed off, especially on your lips, like every day. And if you're not doing that, they're not exfoliating, so you're getting that buildup on your lips, which means you're not gonna get as long of a wear with our lip scents, but you're also just not gonna get hydration through because you've got a barrier. So really important important to get that dead skin cell off, then you don't get the white flaky skin. So then I take my washcloth and I just kind of scrub. I just hold my lips out and I think of it like sandpaper and I just go, And I just want to rub off anything that feels like dry, dead skin cells. You can exfoliate a number of different ways. This is my favorite way. I feel like it gets everything nice and smooth. It gets any of those white pieces of skin that need to come off, off. Other options are <clears throat> using your toothbrush. I know a lot of people exfoliate using their toothbrush, so just brushing your lips like this. Okay? Or a sugar lip scrub. If you don't have one, you can make one. It's just equal parts of coconut oil and organic raw sugar, okay? Or brown sugar will work. Then, when you go to sleep at night, you should be sleeping in one of three things. Actually, I'm gonna give you four options, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna give you four options. Um, if you just are new to lip scents, I always tell people, just sleep in your gloss. So I would literally just apply after I exfoliate because it's so hydrating, this vitamin E shea butter, I would just take this gloss and apply it liberally all over my lips. Rub it in, it tastes and feels so good. I don't mean taste like I eat it, but I mean like, I guess it really should just say it feels so good because I can feel it like drinking into my lips after I just took off all that dead skin cell and it just feels amazing. Like it's hydrating my lips, okay? So if that's all you have, sleep in that. And then when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna get that same washcloth and you're gonna scrub off any of the leftover gloss and any more dead skin cells. So you're exfoliating in the morning and you're exfoliating at night. Super important. Okay, another thing you could be sleeping in is if you're really like addicted to like the balmy kind of feel, you can buy Asinogen's Lip Balm. And this is, um, it has a synthetic vegan beeswax, so it isn't like the cold press wax that you would get in a chapstick. I'm gonna squeeze that out. So it has like a squeeze out ointment type of balm that's also vitamin E based and shea butter based and then you're gonna just rub that in so you could sleep in that you could sleep in the gloss either one of those are fine and super hydrating for your lips that are not going to build up on your lips and that's the most important part so those are two options another option but then the same thing when you wake up in the morning <clears throat> you're just gonna want it will probably all be drunk in but I still do this in the morning just in case I have any extra or I have any like dry stuff or saliva, anything like that around my mouth, it happens. You wanna just wipe that clean and you wipe, up, wipe off any dead skin cells. The other option you can sleep with is our lip volumizer. So this is an amazing product, especially if you're trying to keep your lips plump and healthy. So you would just do the same thing. You would just apply that at nighttime. It feels like a silky butter. It feels really good. Okay, you can apply that and sleep with that on. Some people I know feel like they need like to lock that in a little bit, so they'll lock it in with a lip balm on top. Or we have an amazing product called a Collagen Night Pack. This like seals in moisture and um, prevents moisture loss and enhances your collagen uh, producing in your skin cells. So if you, can, if you wanna seal your lip volumizer with that, you can. 
you don't have to. It's not a it's not a requirement, but I know people who say they get much further results with fuller lips by doing so. Okay, another product is called Nangai Oil that we have. So, like I said, you can you can put coconut oil on your lips for moisture. The only problem with just putting coconut oil on your lips, or even really just putting Nangai Oil on your lips, is that the viscosity of it is not um, thick enough to really stay very long. So it is going to drink right in. And it's probably not going to sit on your lip long enough to give it like as much as you would like, um, like to get the full benefit of it. So with Nagar oil though, Nagar oil is like coconut oil on steroids. That's what I always tell people because it is super concentrated. It's way more powerful than coconut oil. So if you have like any kind of scars or um, dry, super dry eczema patches, I have a stepdaughter that has some under her eyes. We put this on there and it's like gone. So. But another thing for like just super dry skin, I sometimes I get super dry around my eyebrows, I'll put some there. Or under my eyes, I'll put some there. But at nighttime, you can put a drop of Nangai oil, or you can combine this with your lip volumizer and then seal it with your collagen night pack. But a drop of Nangai oil is so, so, so good for your lips. And then you can also seal that with a collagen night pack, but you don't have to. But that's just one more added like insurance benefit of really keeping that moisture in. Those are the products that I want you guys sleeping with or wearing when you're not wearing your lip scents. So, what are your options? Nangai oil, lip volumizer, synthetic beeswax vegan um, lip balm by Cenogens, or just our glossy. If you just have the starter kit, start with this and just sleep with this. What I need you to promise me is that you will not put chapstick, EOS, Carmex, or anything like that else on your lips. If you stick to this regimen and do this every day for a week or two weeks, your lips are going to be healthier than they have ever been, you guys. So please trust me on this routine. Try it out. Commit to it. And you're going to see your lips are healthier than they've ever been. You're not going to have big pieces of dry skin falling off at a time in chunks. You're not gonna be like, oh my gosh, my lips are so dry, they need moisture. Your lips are gonna feel hydrated, they're gonna feel good, you're gonna get a really long wear out of lip scents. And when you rub your lips, they're gonna feel smooth and you're not gonna feel those pieces of dry hanging skin. So I appreciate you guys for watching me and for learning with me. I learned this routine and once I learned this routine, I've been so happy because I can't even begin to tell you how dry my lips used to be and how much dead skin I used to have to the point that they would bleed. So lip health is important, skin care is important, putting good ingredients on your skin and knowing how to take care of your skin is important. So thank you for taking the time to watch and please accept my challenge to remove any chapsticks or wax based products from your regimen and start using good products today. Thanks guys.